It is here. The cabinet is here. Has been delivered this morning. Nice. I've got transport here. <laughs> This is heavy. Ah. So good we have built this trolley recently, right? <laughs> it comes in handy. Well guys, the switchboard enclosure, the cabinet, the electric switchboard enclosure cabinets situation has arrived. It is super heavy. It is unbelievable. The actual paperwork they sent through says something about 35 kilos. I couldn't find any specifications on the website. So I don't know, 35 kilos seems a lot, but this one is heavy. Wow, that looks, that looks big, that looks big. <laughs> and this is all the accessories it comes with. This is the bottom plate and some mounting brackets. Has a ceiling. And this is the mounting plate inside, which you can take out. Well, guys, I'm not 100% sure how I should mount this on the wall here. This is just a thin metal wall. There's nothing behind it. It's just one layer of thin metal. I don't think we can mount this cabinet here on the wall, just like this. We probably would need some support or something from the outside here, but I'm not sure how good this looks like. I probably don't want to do this either. I should have thought about this before I ordered it. Well, maybe some metal support beams from there all the way up to there. And we bolt them in and then mount the switchboard on these support beams. That could work. Okay, I'll have a look at the hardware store and see what I can find. So guys, this is how it roughly can look like. We've got space for three charge controllers up there and can put another three down here. This is the size of the inverter roughly. And then the box is already full. At the moment, I will have only two charge controllers here in this enclosure and the, and the inverter. I can possibly put the inverter on a bracket and put it 90 degrees like this. And then we've got heaps more space here in this enclosure. I still don't know exactly how I mount this one, but I will find out. I will get a solution for that. I've got some ideas, but I need to go to the hardware store and see what they have available. Yeah, it's pretty good. It has uh, three hinges and two, two locks here. So this is all dust and waterproof. You can also put the door on the other side if you want to. This is for ground earth contact and another oh yeah, another one here. Very solid, <laughs> very solid enclosure. <laughs> one of you guys left a comment saying I should just use a piece of plywood and mount everything on this one. I could have used our trolley, our bench top off cut here to mount everything. But I'm not a big fan of mounting these things on timber, on, on wood because of fire and fire safety hazard thing situation, you know. This should always be on metal and grounded and just in case one of the charge controllers starts a fire inside or something, um, there's no harm to anything here. This is a very safe enclosure for my project. Totally in contrast to the plastic box for our batteries, right? <laughs> We've got the whole energy storage here in this plastic box, but have the charge controllers in this metal enclosure. Thunderstorm again, afternoon.
All right, at least I can see how it looks like now. I can plan ahead and see what kind of mounting brackets I can put up here in the, inside the wall. And then we can put this puppy here, not this one, can put this puppy on the wall and start cabling everything. Oh, we're getting closer and closer every day. All right, guys, so far this video here about this nice electrical enclosure. I'll leave a link to this on my website and down in the description as well. If you are interested here in Australia, $220, I think, plus shipping, depending where you are. It did cost me almost $80 to get it shipped from Sydney to here to my place. Well, now it's here. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We shall see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.